I'm joined here in the studio, my far left, by Hamstone Maroria, co-founder and CEO of WirePay, and David Washira, the Chief Operating Officer at WirePay, and a former World Bank Specialist. Gentlemen, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to start with you, Hamstone. Uh, what led to the creation of WirePay, uh, and when did it become fully operational? Um, thank you so much. Um, so we started WirePay as um, a model to enable different African immigrant communities um, who are often underserved, underbanked, and often overlooked by traditional and legacy banking channels. Um, so we started this journey about three years ago, uh, but majorly focused on the regulatory coverage. And uh, you know, we just launched last month, 16th of September. Um, currently on our internal launch, set to be rolling out the service fully to people um, first of November. So David, let me turn to you here. Mm -hmm. When it comes to money, everybody's concern is security. Mm -hmm. How secure is this app? Talk to us about the security of this app and the technological aspect of it. Yeah, no, it's a, definitely a big concern for us as well, our security, particularly when you're sending money across borders. So we are fortunate enough to have partnered with IBM, and IBM has helped us provide uh, world-class security when it comes to our app and how it uh, uh, interjects with the community at large. So we are under what we call the IBM HyperProtect program, which is what uh, um, powers our app. Hamstone, many people are very familiar with the M-Pesa in Kenya and it's widely used in East Africa. So how does WirePay compare to the likes of M-Pesa? Yeah, so thank you. So I will say that um, WirePay is um, the M-Pesa of the African diaspora. Um, so with Wire, users are able to open digital bank accounts. So here we're a very banked community here in the U.S. Um, so we are able to offer checking accounts fully digitally that are opened within under five minutes. Um, users are able to link other banks, send money to each other just the same way that users will do with M-Pesa. Um, so we want to bring the convenience of M-Pesa and merge it with banking here in the U.S. while also enabling immigrants to send money back home. They can send money back home, so it doesn't really, it's not, a, you know, just a, a U.S. app. Anybody uh, can uh, upload this, David? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so no, it, uh, uh, currently it's actually just, just functioning here, in the, here US, in the U.S., but we will be rolling out to the U.K., the EU, Australia, and the Middle East as well uh, later on next year. How easy is it to install the app? It's quite easy. Uh, you just go to the Google or Apple Play Store, which will be rolling out on November 1st. Uh, download the app, uh, enter your uh, KYC details, you know, your customer details as we call it. In about two to three minutes, uh, you're done and you're fully set up. So very quickly, Hamstone, what's the reason behind targeting the African immigrants or immigrants in general in the United States and the underserved community? Um, yeah, so number one, I would say that our purpose is to empower people. And um, for us, empowerment starts off with empowering our own. And for us, the African diaspora contribute immensely um, to the growth of the continent. But while they contribute over $50 billion in remittances going back to the continent, we believe that by giving them you know, more financial services, like digital banking services, we will be able to even empower them even more um, to be able to access not only financial financial services here in the U.S., but also contribute positively to the, um, you know, um, to the growth of our continent. So for us, um, as immigrants, as people that have um, lived and worked outside their home countries, we believe that, um, you know, um, immigrants are a good focus group for us right. to be able to target. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen.